Most ancient tribes of the world has different narratives of how the earth started, and so is we Africans. I examined some creation myths, both African and non-African in the past, on this channel, so I think I should bring more of it to you guys. But before I start, remember, the video is meant to be enjoyed and not about being real or not. Alright, so let's get started. In the beginning, there was a god called Osanobua. He lived in heaven and has four sons. He sent them to rule over the world, but before each of the sons left, Osanobua let them take a gift with them. One son chose wealth, another chose wisdom, another chose knowledge. When it was the fourth son's turn, there was only one thing left, that is an old shell filled with sand. Wondering whether to take it or not, a young bill appeared by his side and said, Last born, did they take the bread and left the nylon for you? Don't worry, you will become their boss. So the first son took the shell and traveled to earth in his boat. When they reached the earth, brothers were shocked that water and sky had been created, but no land. So what are we going to work on? The fourth son knew what he needed to do. He poured the sand out of the snail shell into the water in front of him. As he did so, the sand solidified into dry land and began to stretch out in the distance. Their father was so impressed that he made his youngest son king of the land of Benin. The other brothers tried to romance him to get some lands from him, but he was wise. He refused. At the end, they gave him the gifts they had brought with them from heaven and he said, now you are talking. That's from Benin, Nigeria. Next, in the beginning, God with the help of the moon created human body out of clay. Then God covered it with skin and in the end, God poured blood into it and called him Batsi. Then God whispered into his ear, telling him to beget many children but to impress upon the children the following rule. From all trees you may eat, but not from the Tao tree. Batsi had many children and he made them obey the rule. When he became old, he retired to heaven. His children obeyed the rule, and when they grew old, they too retired to heaven. But one day, a pregnant woman was seized with an irresistible desire to eat the fruit of the Tao tree. She asked her husband to break some for her, but he refused. But when she persisted, the husband gave in. He crept into the forest at night, picked the Tao fruit, peeled it, and ate the peel in the bush. But the moon had seen him, and she told God what she had seen. God was so angry with humans that he sent death as his punishment to men. Next story. In the beginning was Waka the Creator. He inhabited the sky and made sure to keep his distance from it by way of a barrier of stars. He told man to come and be living on it, but man said, Nefa, Nefa. Waka didn't believe in punishment, but he did believe in trickery and persuasion, so he asked man to compose a coffin for him. When the coffin was complete, he strapped man inside and sent man to the flat earth. He brought about a fiery rainstorm that lasted for seven years and formed the landscape of the earth. When the earth was complete, he released man from the coffin unarmed and used his blood to create women. After a while, the women produced 30 children. But the man felt their wives had given birth to too many children. As a result, Waka took half of them and turned them into animals. Oromo Ethiopia. On the last story, at the beginning, there was a huge drop of milk. Dondari the god, he came and created stone. Then the stone created iron. Iron created fire. Fire created water. Water created air, then Dondari took the five elements and he shaped them into man. But man was proud, so Dondari created blindness and blindness defeated man. But when blindness became too proud, Dondari created sleep and sleep defeated blindness. When sleep became too proud, Dondari created worry and worry defeated sleep. When worry became too proud, Dondari created death and death defeated worry. When death became too proud, Dondari came to earth again, and he came as Gueno, the Eternal One, and Gueno defeated death, Fulani Mali.